My name's Kerry Polinus and I'm an artist who's been working with geometric abstraction for a very long time. I've been working with predominantly uh, line, colour and shapes since about 1985. Today and the last few days we've been making this big drawing on the wall in the foyer here called Blue Wall Drawing Number 2. And two local artists have helped me make the drawing, we've made it together and it's made of lines that are made out of blue permanent marker, jumbo marker, like the kind that you get from newsagents, using big rulers that are made of metal. I spent a lot of time on the beach at Point Lonsdale, and uh, that's where I get a lot of my inspiration. And all the blue, blue wall drawings that I've made have been inspired by the ocean and the sea, and particularly the back beach at Point Lonsdale. I'm interested in making artworks and objects that actually engage with places where they're made. And so I uh, do a lot of drawing on the beach and thinking about how an artwork might engage with the circumstances that it's in and make exhibitions of um, non-objective monochrome diamond paintings on plastic, which I install as exhibitions in various places and landscapes, um, like the beach. A lot of these happen at the beach during summer. And the idea is that instead of making landscape paintings that might be representing a landscape or trying to make a picture of a landscape, um, these exhibitions and artworks engage with the landscape instead and respond to it. And so I might choose particular colours for a place and um, I do a lot of this activity down the beach. So the beach is really a kind of a learning place for me and I love the way it's so um, ephemeral, you know, the, the sea washes away the lines of drawings and uh, the tide comes in and destroys painting exhibitions and um, just the way this wall drawing will be painted over afterwards and um, the process of doing, making, making art and making drawings and making exhibitions is just as important as um, the final Product. So a lot of the work I make, even though it is geometric and abstract, it relates to nature in a really quite specific way. So I started thinking about this idea of making these wall drawings and making instructions for them so that other people could make them and uh, so that they would turn out differently each time they're made. So the people that make the drawings um, instead of measuring key reference points in the geometry, they guess or they decide where they are themselves within a certain range, which means that each time the drawings are produced, they turn out quite differently. To make the instruction book for Blue Wall Drawing Number Two, I have to actually make it somewhere and go through the whole process step by step of what it involves, uh, what goes wrong, what goes right, and how it might adjust for different places because all of the drawings that I make are um, site responsive in some way. They adjust to the circumstances and the place where they're made. And they also have to be kind of makeable by people. And so often the process of working with people to make a drawing feeds into the, the instruction book that I'll finally produce. Yeah, I'm really interested in um, this idea of it being a, a full body process where you become immersed in the geometry of the drawing and that the drawings take as long as they take to make, that they don't need to be made quickly and that the people making them are able to kind of uh, just enjoy the process of drawing on the wall with texture colours and um, uh, making a big work together in a collaborative way.